was very happy to be hijacked because, um, you know, I began, as I said, Alec and Pearl were my gurus. I started my career from there. And it gave me a profession. So he completely hijacked the way I thought. And uh, wonderful. I'd like to be hijacked again. But there is no Alec Padamsi now, so there you are. But, yeah. He called me and he said, I didn't know you could sing so well. And my dear Dalit Tahil, who did the real, the real big role of Shea Guava in Evita, was leaving, sadly. And we were all so upset because I was a dancer with him. And it was the start. Sweet. Suddenly, I had to go and fill his role. And it was difficult, but I was just telling him I managed and I did a decent job. But, you know... You did a uh, very good job. Thank you. So, but the thing was that the, the most beautiful part about Alec was that he was like a father to me. He literally, I promise you, I've heard him scream, shout, go berserk. But with me, he was like a small sweetie pie, my dad, like a daddy. So he really, for some reason, and cabaret, the way he made me do cabaret, he allowed me to fly. He didn't say, okay, you don't do it this way, you don't do it that way. No, say it like that. No, I would do, and he would say, okay, now just tweak this. So he was just a really good director. He didn't put stuff in your head and do that. He was fantastic. So he was like a father to me, literally, literally. And that's why today, he always told me, when he saw my show, Selkut, recently, he said, um, before he passed away, he said, that Sharmak, you really have imbibed everything from me and you've brought it forward. So I was very grateful to hear that from you. I, I had just done one small acting job before then, um, this, this play, I mean, in, in Bombay. And I actually had a job, and I think my uncle got in touch with you, Ryle, and you put me in touch with your dad saying that, you know, they're doing Death of a Salesman, would I like to be a part of it? And so I got cast in my first big production here was with Alec. And, um, you know, I didn't know how it was going to go. I was trying to work out the rehearsals with the job. I quit the job. I just ended up doing the play. And um, he was the first person to put me on a billboard. And it opens, yeah, it changes how you view yourself and where you want to go as well. So. Big props to Mr. Padamsi, and I'll always be indebted for that first big opportunity. It's out there, people are buying it, people are loving it. They're actually, actually, you know, responding. We've got some really great reviews. We've had so much support, you know, when you see Shashi, Rani, everybody, of course, Dalit and uh, Shamak and Jim and everyone who've really supported us in this whole um, endeavor. It's been tough, it really has, but I think Dad's voice needs to be heard. He's got some great ideas, totally radical at first, but I think once you, you know, spend some time with it, you really figure out that it makes a lot of sense. So go out and buy the book. <laughs> Alec completely hijacked my mind. He didn't just hijack my mind. I think he gave me permission to breathe again. There were so many things that were going on in my mind, things about being a woman, being in business, being divorced, um, being a single mother. I, I had all these, I, I think, um, thoughts in my head about how I couldn't do things. And he just came along and he was like, darling, of course you can. And he was, uh, like Shamek says, he was like a, a godfather to me. So how did he hijack my mind? He gave me... Um, the space to really critically question why we do what we do and to actually realize we can make a change. We don't have to follow everything that's been done in the past and that's what we're trying to do with the book.